what are two changes in the weather that we really need to watch on a daily basis when we're out there fishing? Good morning, guys and girls. June 14. June 14, reading from a Catch a Better Life book, a book that took me a couple years to write. It's available at jimmyhouston.com, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Barnes & Noble, just about anywhere books are sold. It's got a scripture from the Word of God for every single day, a fishing tip for every single day, and a devotional built around fishing. Here's what I wrote for June 14, from the book of Psalm 113.7. The scripture says, he raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the ash heap. He's talking about that he is, is God. God raises the poor out of the dust and he lifts the needy out of the ash heap. Um, I think back to when Chris and I first got married, we had absolutely nothing. We had nothing. I think about the years we spent going through college and getting an education working 60 and 70 and 80 hours a week, and we had nothing. We were the poor and needy. We were there. And uh, so many people that I know of that just started out with nothing, but they walked every day with God throughout their life, and, and, and now, you know, well, just look behind you. Just look behind you. You can see how God has blessed me. God raises the poor out of the dust. Yes, he does. And he lifts the needy out of the ash heap. I haven't read what I wrote about that, uh, but uh, let's read what I wrote about that. This time of the year, the players begin to take over our lakes. Water skiers, tubers, jet skis, power boats, the players, the guys that are not out there fishing, the guys and the girls are out there playing. Now, a lot of those are fishermen also. I've seen a lot of ranger ski boats on the lake here lately. The solution is to rise early to go fishing. Get up before the players. They're going to sleep in. It's topwater time especially during those first couple of hours of calm, dead, slick water, just like I have right here behind me today. Calm, dead, slick water. We can raise a bass from pretty deep down. Fish slowly, fish deliberately. The calmer it is, the slower you want to fish your topwater bait. It's a good rule of thumb. You might want to break out that fly rod, catch some big bluegill. It's a great time of the year for that. A lot of the bluegill are spawning. The big females usually are out in front while the males are on the bed, just exactly like it is in largemouth bass. This might turn a poor fishing day into a really fun one, getting some of those bluegills while they're on the bed. God raises us up to no matter how deep of water we get in. And can I tell you, boy, I've had myself in some pretty deep water lots of times. I've been pretty deep, and sometimes when I get down in a hole, it seems like I just keep digging. Our God, he's so powerful that he must actually humble himself just to look at us. You ever think about that? God is so powerful that just to gaze upon us, man, he's got to humble himself just to look at us, just to look at us. But he loves us so much that he does that. And he looks at us and he watches over us and he cares for us every single day. He cares about our circumstances. He corrects them. And you can see from today's scripture, we serve a God who also cares about our financial situations. Can I tell you, you don't have to be poor to be a Christian. You can be poor when you become a Christian. God will change that. God will change that. A lot of folks believe that the way to be righteous is to not have anything. That's not what God wants. If you look through the Bible, you'll see where God created incredible wealth for so many men. Think about King Solomon, the richest man in the world. Think about the guy we think about with the problems, Job. Job, Job, before he had all those problems, he was the richest guy in the whole area. He had more cattle, more camel, more horses, more kids, on and on and on. And then he lost it all. And then God gave him back twice as much as he had. So God cares about your financial situation. He cares about my financial situation. Put any money problems you might have in God's hands. There's the deal right there. There's the deal. Put your money problems in God's hands. Lay them at the foot of the cross. Let God take care of them. Rest assured, he can turn them into abundance. God can turn your money and your financial problems into an abundance. And enough that you can bless other people with your money. Here's our tip for today. 
Well, he's talking about the weather, you know, the things that affect uh, whether you catch fish, how we make our decisions. One of them is the weather, uh, the time of the year, the uh, type of lake we're fishing, what the water's doing at the time we're fishing. Pay close attention to changes <clears throat> in the wind and changes in the clouds when you're out there fishing. The wind, the direction it's blowing, how hard it's blowing, if it changed, if it shifted, and the clouds. Pay close attention to the clouds. Has a very definite effect on the fish every day. Watch for those little things that happen out there. And when they start happening, if you're not having the same results or if you're not having the results you want, that's the time to start making some adaptations into however you're fishing. Guys and girls, go out there and have a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>